Hey everyone, so I just wanted to give a quick overview of the activities we're working on this week. <laughs> Here's my son, and he just turned two. He has this little book corner. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to read you a book soon. Then he has his puzzle, which he knows all the animals and stuff. He just, he likes, he's still working on putting them in their spots. And this is from Ikea. It's a light that he spins around. Stacker he still loves. Just has some animals and stuff out as he loves ducks and things. He's working on a sheep sorter in the bucket is somewhere. And just drawing and stuff. And then have his trampoline. And show you the activities he's working on. So this is just a shelf of toys that are rotated in, in and out. So he has his numbers he's working on. Uh, where's two? Where's two? Two. No. Yeah, two. You're two. How, how old are you? Are you two? <laughs> Fascinated with the camera. <laughs> um, then I just have, like, drawing and containers. He still loves working on containers, opening and closing them. This is just a dress-up bin that he doesn't really use. Um, I've made these little matching coins for Michael's and little stickers. And he likes this little thing to open and close. Then, um, he knows his colors, but we're still working on, like, matching and sorting. And there's also this, um, cool color disc. So you can do blue and yellow makes green. And, you know, red and yellow make orange and stuff like that. And so, yeah, that's just kind of color stuff. We have, like, a music bin, book bin, and here I just got him this. It's, like, a fake drill, pliers, and stuff. I really just wanted the hammer that came in the kit, but we'll probably use all these, too, and it will teach him how to hold tools properly. And then these are our Montessori, I guess, inspired activities which I'll get into next. So these cards, I think they were just from Target, shapes and colors. Um, so he knows all his colors. Then on the back of this little tray, we have all the shapes. They're also from Target, these magnets, uh, like oval, square, all those, and they're different colors. So working on our shapes. I keep them up here because he still bends them. He has his little scissors that are for two-year-olds. They, they're just plastic, like they don't have a blade, it's just like kind of sharp, sharpened plastic, and they only cut paper, they don't cut hair or anything like that. So, I have that activity to practice cutting. And then, um, sometimes I'll just read like one of our like bigger books, the ones that he can kind of rip or break, <laughs> or that have too many words, I'll like put those ones up high and then I'll bring a few out. So we have touch and explore dinosaurs. So yeah, there's like tons of words, but it's also a touch and feel. So that one's fun. He really likes dinosaurs. And then um, I have, let's see here. I'll do this one. <laughs> we'll do this one. It's, um, I just got some clay, like the Crayola clay or something like modeling clay. I squish it all in this container and then practice with, um, golf tees from the dollar store of course supervised and then his little hammer practice and then it also let me try it it also pulls them out <laughs> I can't do it with one hand but so that's a little activity we're practicing with and it will also teach him how, also teach him how to hold a hammer so that's cool I was gonna get him a real hammer but they're too heavy and dangerous Again, this is something I'd only pull out if I'm around, as I don't want him playing with golf tees. And then, um, these are just kind of, like, a net. this is what came with the toolbox, so it's like a pretend nail. I also have, like, these fun scissors for cutting. And take all these out for now. Then, um, out, when we're outside, we 
we have like little fish, like diving fish. A little scoop to pull them out. Also to transfer a ball to a different container. And then we also have sponges outside to like squeeze sponges and transfer the water. So we'll practice that. Um, and then these to like pick up sponges. So I'm gonna cut up some more sponges and just pick up and transfer. His hands are still too little, so I might even just use this one here or something similar. Hi. And then this one I started. We'll see if he'll do it, but he likes stickers, so I was going to try this sticker chart. Who knows if he'll stick them on the lines. We'll see. Also, this bingo dab one, um, yellow, blue, and I have yellow and blue. We'll see if we can match the colors and stuff. And then just paper to scribble on as he loves drawing. I know. I know, yeah, it's a good story. So yeah, that is just our like Montessori inspired activities. We'll keep for the week. And then the next week we'll rotate out with some different stuff. So I hope this was helpful. And... Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye now.